Well, hello there, person. Let's check out what's new with Wraithbinder, eh? Been working on the character creation menu. So, here's what I'm thinking. Like, you're gonna have your play online feature where you'll be able to select a character, continue playing that character, level them up more, buy more items for that character. It's more of a long-term thing. But then, if you wanna play locally, right with some friends on the couch it's more of the kind of thing where you're gonna set it up you're gonna be like okay i want one two or up to four players right uh and you can choose between solo and team mode but then right let's say we want to start with four player or let's do two players here um let's just do one actually ah whatever two players for now i know that we're gonna have a problem with this right menu here in a second but um because uh, I haven't implemented the ready feature, but so here's where you, you, you say, let's say you have like two people on screen or four people on screen. You can you can both select your character, right? So I'm gonna choose um, one of these new characters. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. And um, so here's where you can go and create a character, right? So all of your players at once can be creating a character. Or choosing their character. I can give him a name. So let's name this guy. Aif. Um, you can choose different body styles. Let's give him. Let's make him super tall. Oh hey, check it out. This is really funny. If you make him super short, they look. They look so short. It's so funny. Oh, I had a lot of fun with that this week. Okay, so we can change his color. Let's I don't want him green anymore. It's blue. There's all sorts of colors. You can let's do red for Ape. Ape like, seems like a red color to me. Um all there's like six body types, so you've got three male and three female choices. This uh this and by the way, this visualization of the character all big with their voxels like that is gonna look a lot better. This is just a mock-up version so far. So I'm thinking of actually implementing this in 3D so each voxel will be rendered in 3D and look really nice with shading and all that. But for now, I'm just using, actually using some 2D sprites to mock up what the character might look like. So it kind of looks a little bit ugly right now, but it'll get better. So here we can browse through a whole bunch of just random styles, right? I choose a style and it changes the hair, what kind of armor they have on, um, their skin tone, what weapon they even have, whether they have long, like, check this, check this guy out, he's got a super long spear and a helmet, breastplate armor. Um, actually, this, uh, he looks super cool like that, right? This guy looks awesome. Well, let's make him super short again. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. Right? Super tall. Let's do super short. And we'll, we'll save Aif. He looks really weird. What just happened there? Oh, I did body too. There's definitely an issue with the mock-up uh, rendering of the character. Where the co some of the colors are actually meant to be behind. Like, he's got a b big old splotch of red on his front right now. But that, that, should, be, that should be coming from his cloak which should be behind him. So there must be some kind of Z issue. And in fact, no, you know what? I can see it in the character in the actual uh, background too. So there's some issue with my models. I gotta work on my models some more. Uh, but anyways, let's save Ave, right? Let's start this match. What's gonna happen there is that the guy on the right is still gonna have his menu up the whole time. And this transition scene screen right there didn't quite look right. But work in progress, right? Here we are. We're, we're eighth. We're super short. I love how he's super short, but he has still has a long cloak. Yeah. So there you have it. Just working on the character create menu this week. Oh yeah, and I did actually work on um, a bit of gameplay too. I got the uh, um, the when when players attack each other and their their swords or their melee attacks. Um, meet at exactly the same time. It does this whole like uh, knockback feature where it both players parry a bit. So instead of 
Um, instead of the, the game always be allowing players to clump up too much, it really uh, pushes players away from each other when they're when they're both just frantically trying to attack each other. Um, it adds a nice little element to the gameplay. And uh, what I did this week was to make it better. So I really improved the rendering. And I even got the timing of the hits better too. So like, um, if you slow down time, let's go to really slow here. Oh, there's an issue with this guy's uh, rendering too. I'm, I'm noticing he should have this sort of shock wave while he's doing his melee attack. Um, it's not showing up right now. I wonder if it has something to do with the way his model is compiled. It's got to be it. Here we go. Now he's got his sword. Even his sword's missing. It's whoosh. Okay. Lots of model issues to work on. Um, but, uh, yeah. But I, oh, what I was saying there was that uh, the timing of of blade attacks is way more exact now so if we were to hit something with it which uh slow if we slow down time and hit something uh, you can't really tell because of the there's no whoosh but anyways i made sure to get that dialed in just right so when right when the whoosh hits something that's exactly when the damage happens in the game's tick system and the exact so the timing feels a lot more accurate now of these hits so that's all uh for now thanks a lot for watching this video my friend and we'll catch you with another one later on see ya